a picture is worth uh, a thousand words uh, refers to the fact that a quite complex idea can sometimes be conveyed with uh, just a single image. In this course, Modern Software Architecture, there are a few key ideas and concepts that I try to transmit and share in just a few hours of the clip. However, I wonder whether just a few pictures could do the same job in a fraction of the time. And which are the key ideas and key concepts? One is domain-driven design and domain modeling. CQRS is another one, and another one is even sourcing, but also UX user experience uh, driven design. At the beginning of any domain modeling effort, uh, everything is uh, usually crystal clear and simple. It's just like uh, having the ingredients and tools to cook up some uh, good food. Uh, when the effort uh, is uh, production ready, it may be good or not so good, but it has surely lost most of the crystal clearness it originally had. This is a picture that renders uh, the final step of uh, domain modeling, and uh, if it tastes good, it was then a good work. We all eat food, and eating food and drinking are uh, critical actions for uh, humans. Yet, uh, they are distinct actions that can hardly be carried effectively with a single set of tools, in this case, a single hand. CQRS is all about uh, separating concerns. Uh, CQRS uh, states that in software everything is either a query or a command, but never the two things together. CQRS is there not because it's cool, but just to help managing software complexity more effectively. Tracking uh, what has happened and learning from there is another fundamental aspect of life uh, and why should software be different, especially when software is there just to mirror the real life. Even in love, we all learn from mistakes and from the past, and this is the same that even sourcing attempts to do, help tracking just everything. As a developer or an architect, uh, you have a, typically a clear idea of what the final system should be and how it should work. It's obvious for you what is a presentation, what is logic and what is data. But your users uh, typically see it in a slightly different way. For them it's all about presentation and everything else is just pure magic. UX uh, driven design just suggests you design software in a top-down manner making sure you produce exactly the system that users expect to work with. In the end, finally, the book uh, Microsoft.NET Architecting Applications for the Enterprise second edition book that I wrote with uh, Andrea Saltarello is an excellent companion resource for this course and on CodePlex in particular and aa4e.codeplex.com you will also find an additional repository of code that is constantly updated. So, in addition to the source code that comes with this course and that it's code that addresses uh, specific topics on the CodePlex repository, you will find uh, a full project uh, that is uh, more realistic in the sense that it attempts to use uh, altogether most of the techniques and the concepts discussed uh, throughout the course. What else? Well, just try that out and enjoy.